My last story for today, or potential last story, is Lightyear Frontier. And yes, boys and girls, this is another farming game that I've seen and I've watched videos about on YouTube. And I'm like, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. But the cool thing about this game is that you have a mech. And I haven't played this yet. This is a game, I just, I won't do early access games anymore just because it just ruins the, the feeling of the game for me. Not to mention, I've just decided I'm not playing any PC games until I get an Asus ROG Ally because I'm tired of sitting in front of this PC six days a week. Yeah, Lightyear Frontier is another from game. You land on this alien planet, you, as you land, you're like, oh my God, there's a robot. You go to the robot and it's, oh, I need to be fixed. And you fix the robot. And now you have a robotic farmer and the game's description lists it as a peaceful open world farming adventure on a planet at the far edge of the galaxy, climb into a versatile mech and start your new home on a distant planet with up to three friends. So again, this is multiplayer. This follows the trend of a lot of like recent cozy farming lives and games where it's not just you, right? I've always wanted to play one of these with friends, just haven't found anybody to do it with. But yes, you can play with your friends on Lightyear Frontier. Farm alien crops, build your own homestead, and explore the untamed wilderness of the world. Released not too long ago, seven days ago on March 20th, 617 positive Steam reviews. The price at the moment is $326, about 10 US dollars. It's a 20% discount at the moment, which ends this weekend. So please get it if you do want to get it. It is an early access and they say the early access will be about a year and a half. So about 12 months. So this game will be fully released probably in June of 2025, if they're lucky. So keep that in mind as well. If you are a person who doesn't like to play early access games, just because you want to get the full experience. This might not be free, but just again, you might add it to your Steam wishlist, right? My Steam wishlist is 127 games at the moment, and it is beautiful. It does look fun. The system requirements are relatively low. You're not looking at a top tier processor. You're not looking at a top tier graphics card. A mid tier graphics card for a minimum and recommended as well would do you fine. So definitely a cool, relaxing, fun game. But then. Sometimes with these farming games, there's the sort of the fighting element, like in Stardew Valley, like in My Time at Sandrock. This game is the exploration stuff where you get to go explore and find new things, new ways to augment your farm, if possible, new ways to new buildings that you can build to do things. And that is like the extra in game content. But yeah, if you're looking for a fun game and you want to try something out and something interesting and very different, give Lightyear Frontier a go. $10 and it's yours.